Yo, what's up guys? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD. I got another uh, HD tutorial for you guys. This one's not actually a, a requested video, but I put a, a request in the title because this has actually been uh, asked by a number of people, um, whether it was from YouTube messaging or from contacting me through a website. Uh, they've actually asked me over here on the right hand side how I got these colored icons over my folders, or actually to be the icon of the folder. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So. First thing you want to do is open up your internet browser, and uh, any internet browser does work for this as long as you're comfortable downloading. And you can go to basically any uh, internet, any uh, popular search engine, and type in uh, Icon Pack, and the first link will be IconSpedia.com. And I'll go ahead and throw that link in the description so you guys don't need to remember it. But basically, on this website is where you can get what pre pretty much where you can get any of your icons. Um, they have featured icon packs, uh, individual icons such as these random icons. And if you go ahead and click on an icon pack, you can see uh, that there are 109 icons in this. You know, here's all these um, all these files. Now you can either download as an ICO or an icon file, or just as a PNG image. Uh, so you can also search in the left hand side for um, all sorts of different icons, uh, different styles, things you might want to uh, check out putting on your uh, on your icon. So once you've found one you like and you actually download it, you don't have to install it after you've downloaded it, just remember where you have it. So I remember I saved mine right here and I named it Mac OS X icons. So I have all the I .ico files and all the .png files and I also have a readme which I could probably delete. So I've noticed this works for especially well for folders. So we're going to just find a folder on my desktop here I want to change. I don't have that much on my desktop. Uh, but here's a folder of stuff that was just on the camera. 2.75 gigs of stuff in a folder I don't really use. We're just going to right click it and go to properties. And once we've gone to properties we can actually go to the customize tab all the way on the right hand side. And here's where we can say what kind of folder do you want, folder pictures, etc. On the bottom here it says folder icons and you can change the folder icon if you change it it'll no longer show uh, a preview of the folder's contents but it will still have a pretty cool looking image. We're going to hit the change icon button and here there's you know a bunch of uh, num actually numerous built in icons into Windows Vista but I don't really like any of these and I'd rather use my own that I downloaded so just go ahead and hit the browse button. And uh, once you hit the browse button you have to go ahead and remember where you save those icons so I'm just going to find them are right in here, Mac OS X icons, and you can select the .icon file or the .png file. It doesn't really matter, but the .icon file is a little bit smaller, uh, if that makes a difference to you. Uh, pick a color. I guess I'll choose a blue one. And just go ahead and pick uh, the icon that you downloaded, and I'll search, I'll use this icon, and I'll hit the OK button. Make sure you hit Apply, and then hit OK. And there you go. That's that's your icon right there. So now it's the same title and everything, except it has that um that cool uh movie looking uh, folder that I've downloaded from the website. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys. Maybe you want to go ahead and custom your desktop now if you uh, really like the icons you see on that website. Uh, again, the link is in the description. And uh, I guess that's basically it. So thanks for watching this HD tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them below. Uh, if you need a request video done, go ahead and subscribe and send me a message, and I will try to get to you with a request video. So thanks for watching this one, and uh, have a nice night. Peace.